<laughs> okay, I gotta leave that one in. <laughs> yeah, so I just felt like restarting Eden Runs today until I get something kind of cool. You know, I just wanted to have like a decent start. Does it feel like a little cheating a little bit? Yeah, but... <laughs> That was a funny, that was a funny one. Anyway, it's your boy, your favorite niche online micro celebrity, back, uh, back again with another Isaac video. I, I think the day I start introing videos like that is the day I like probably need to forfeit my rights as a human, <laughs> cause, God, it like it just hurt to say that. It, it was painful. Anyway, glowing hourglass is a nice start. Anyway, how many times can I say anyway in like one minute? Glowing hourglass means I can go to my item room and if it's dog shit, I can just uh, go for planetariums instead. How often do you get a chance to just do that? Uh, spoiler alert, not necessarily very often. Uh, I appreciate the chance though, I appreciate the opportunity. Let's see what we've got. Yeah, burst and sack ain't worth it. I hate to say it, burst and sack. It sure as hell ain't worth uh, losing the planetarium chances over or anything like that. Well, you know what I would love? A damn bomb to blow up that tinted rock with. I'll check what's in here. Okay, well, that solves the issue of getting soul hearts, I guess. <laughs> that, uh, effectively the same thing. Nothing in here either. Oh, God. You know, for once, I would actually not be too upset about seeing a matchbook drop from the boss. Unfortunately, it's famine, which means it is going to be a cube of meat. And there's nothing I can do about it. Ain't that a crying shame? I don't even have a key either, man. I can't go to the damn old puff. What the hell, bro? Is it gonna be one of those days? I can't even go to the old puff because I don't have no consumables? Oh well, I guess we'll have to worry about that in a minute. For now, I'll grab this and I'll head down. That's, that's it. That's all there is to this. Wouldn't it be crazy if there was a planetarium, like, right away, right here? Wouldn't that be nuts? Wouldn't that be kind of crazy? Uh, might as well check this room, you never know. There could be something cool in it, or there could be nothing. That's also- Hey, there's a planetarium! Okay, now I just need a key to go inside. Uh, I need a lot of keys for this floor, matter of fact. I need one for my item room as well. I need one for the old path. I really hope the game is gonna be nice to me today and give me the keys I desire. Ouchie. That's annoying. Oh, well, there's all my special rooms and no keys in sight. No combat rooms either that give- that have a chance to have a room drop or anything just just nothing of that nothing of that note please a key just a single key game a bomb will keep me happy at least i can do something with it i can look for a secret room perhaps something of that note a key has spawned let's go dude let's go okay order of priority here check the planetarium if it's a trash item which eh, not necessarily likely we'll we'll just teleport out of it again Terra is amazing. Never mind. This allows me to look for my secret room, though, without having to worry about using my bomb. My precious, precious bomb. Oh, you know I'm shooting every single one of these. Okay, well, it didn't happen this time. Oh, well. What this also allows me to do is allows me to open this chest. Ooh. Now I really want to see what's in my shop. Because if, if there's a Diplopia in there, uh, we've got ourselves a very interesting game break. I am very much interested in making that happen. All I need is another key game, if you would be so kind. I'll open this after I fight the boss. I just want to ensure that I get my deal. It's Ragman, the man made of rags or something. What does Red Ragman do? He doesn't really seem to do anything. Does he only summon? Is that what he does? He only uh, drops his head? I'll take this. Still no keys uh, is absolutely atrocious. He'd look for my other secret room here. Uh, that would be smart. That would be a smart move. Down here, perhaps? No, over here, perhaps? Hey, if you could drop a key, that would be tremendous. Uh, <laughs> there's only one way for me to get a key. Okay, there's two ways. One of them is this chest that I've forgotten to open. Um, which bombs are key? Uh, okay, let's shoot all the rocks. Maybe a crawl space shows up. If not, the only other way is playing the sack room, but there's no HP laying around, like, at all. So that's not gonna happen. Um, because there's no point in skipping the item room now. I already got my planetarium and I got one of the best items in that you can get from it. The plan. Plock you down. Fuck. <laughs> Shit. I was really hoping for a normal beggar. Ah, man. Uh, I think I'm out of options here, man. I think I'm out of options. This is crazy. I can't go to my old puff. Can you just, like, open up the door for me, please? Just, just open up the door, maybe? Ah. Plus, I'd have to play it, like, three times. I can't even do that. I don't have the HP for that. Please. Crawl space. <laughs> Fine, fine, fine. It's it's a darn shame, but I guess I'll live with it. Okay? We'll we'll live without going to the item room once more. We'll live without going to the shop. We'll hold off for a little longer. We'll live without going to the damn alt path of all places. Uh, at least I'll go to the mines after this floor, I suppose. But man, 
No keys to open that, by the way. Well, one thing for sure, if uh, Guppy's tail shows up, I ain't taking that. Unless I get, like, skeleton key to show up beforehand, I ain't taking Guppy's, Guppy's tail, that's for sure. That, <laughs> that shit's gonna have me fucked up if I take it. Oh, a crawl space. Hey, would you look at that? Good thing I shot everything. Mini mush, huh? We can do better than that. And if these rerolls don't end up being good, that's bloody lust, right? If these rerolls don't end up being good, I can just hourglass out and get my money back. I don't like monstrous lung. I'm sorry. I don't want tiny planet, that's for sure. Ah, fine. I didn't settle for bloody lust. Do I settle for bloody gust instead? <laughs> uh, honestly, I'm just gonna pick up the mushroom. <laughs> I've decided. I'm just gonna take the mushroom. Out of all the items that I got out of my rerolls here, I think the mushroom was actually the most exciting. I love glowing hourglass for allowing me to do a play like that. Something that is very questionable, but at the end of the day, if I'm given the opportunity to do it, I might as well try. Hey, my secret room. I love that you're still refusing to give me keys, by the way, game. It's so funny. It's so funny that you're, like, refusing to give me keys still. You're still insistent on the fact that I will not get a key today. Ah, I'm sure. I'm sure we'll get... I'm sure I'll get a key someday. I'm sure it'll happen someday. I'll, I'll get a key and then everything will... You'll, you'll rue the day, game. You'll rue the day. Keys? Oh my lord, thank you. I shouldn't have come in here. Well, at least I can teleport back out. I, I, my, little, my little unicorn ain't worth it, that's for sure. As a dog item. Yeah, that was not gonna happen, unfortunately. Let me in here, at least. I really just wanna look for a diplopia. Honestly, this shit ain't worth it. Fuck it. Yeah, I could've teleported out of this room when I took damage and preserved my angel deal chance. It's only 33% anyway. I'm not too excited about that. I'm just gonna assume that, like, that item room and shop I couldn't go to last floor had, like, terrible items in it. So, like, it, it, I didn't miss out on anything. Let's, uh, fight the boss. It is Pestilence. Why am I getting, like, all the horsemen to show up? I'm not- I don't even have Book of Revelations. They're just showing up naturally. That's weird. Hey, at least I can go in here for free, right? There you go. I should look for my other secret room, too. Okay. Scary, but, uh, I think I'll live. Yeah, I'm just going down. Just going down to the Yelp path. Locust of Pestilence. Eh, I think I can- I, I can still keep the- Ooh! It's the item room, and I am absolutely taking almond milk. I don't know what the other item was, I don't care. Almond milk is funny as hell. And it's gonna make the whole rock breaking thing a lot quicker. <laughs> so I will gladly accept doing that. That's gonna be kind of funny. Oh, Nose Goblin is a good trinket though. Wait, is it- does it scale my damage? It, it scales with my damage, right? Hmm. It's not amazing, but it's still pretty decent. I think the good thing about having the Rotten Hearts right away is that I can't lose my deal chance. Because even if I get hit, it doesn't count as taking Red Heart damage. So that would be pretty, pretty great. Oh, hello there. I'm gonna gamble, and if I don't get pays out, then I will rewind. I got paid out, so it's fine. Okay, fine, I'll take it. Worth the key? Eh, uh, debatably. I did save one on the item room this floor, so I think it's fine. Need to see my shop, though. That's really what I want to see. The great thing about Terra is that these guys actually take more damage from you having the rock tiers. Because normally these guys, like, reduce damage from normal tiers, but if you have Terra, that goes out the window. Still no Diplopia. Can't help but notice that. I'll save my key. I'd rather I'd rather save my key than go into that shop. Unless teleporting out of a shop means that you've technically never seen those items so they'll show up again or they have a chance to show up again. In which case, me teleporting out is obviously a horrible idea, but how would I how would I know that? How would how would I know that that's how that goes? Anyway, let's head to boss. It is these guys which actually are going to take damage from my rock tears, which is crazy good. Oh my god, look at them get shredded. That's hilarious. There's my angel deal. I'll gladly take meat. Angel Deal has dead Sea Scrolls, which is <laughs> just insulting. If I use dead Sea Scrolls, and by some sheer miracle, it activates the Plopia's effect, which I don't even know if it can. If I then wildcard, does it trigger the effect that dead Sea Scrolls mimicked? Or does it just trigger dead Sea Scrolls again? I'll use it anyway. Book of Revs, honestly. That's the best outcome I could have hoped for there. I guess I'm shooting every rock in this damn arena because I might as well. <laughs> I am committed to the bit of rock and roll or something. Rock and stone. I, I, I don't actually like, I'm not like a big fan of DRG, but I, I, know the, I know the references. I am in some ways DRG pilled, just not in terms of getting much enjoyment out of the gameplay. It's just not for me. Okay. It's, it's not a bad game by any means. A few times I played it, I did, uh, you know, have a mono a, a minuscule amount of enjoyment, but I just, I just haven't played it a lot. I, it just didn't hook me, unfortunately. I gotta find my other secret room here, man. I got no excuse not to look for them, considering I have the ability to break every single wall in the game for free. There you go. Oh, bada bing, bada boom, that should be good. 
Hey, and damage upgrade. Would you look at that? Nice. I'm going to visit every single damn shop on this run. Matter of fact, I might even prioritize going to shops over item rooms because I need to find a Diplopia. It's so important that I find a Diplopia, dude. Imagine if I get Diplopia and I get to wildcard and just like go fucking nuts. Will I open this chest? Sure. I think it was a bad decision. I think opening a chest was a bad decision, so I won't do it. I know what's inside now. There's a troll bomb and pretty much nothing else, so... What do we got in here? What's this item? Headless baby? Not worth it. <laughs> and neither is tomato for that matter, at least not for the time being. If I get another key, I'll, I'll go back to it, but for now, the shop takes priority. I'm going aggressive on these hourglass plays, man. I love it. I've, I've never gotten to use it this aggressively before. That's yeah, not a Diplopia. I can't help but notice that is not a Diplopia. Still completely devoid of keys this run, by the way. Also, the boss fight is most likely Gideon, so that's lovely. Loving the amount of bombs I'm getting, don't get me wrong. Especially because I don't fucking need them, because I have the ability to blow up every rock myself. Let's do the rest of the floor before I fight Gideon, mostly just because I don't want to fight Gideon right now. I, I want to hold off on that for a bit longer if I can. At least I'm, like, absolutely shredding. I mean, Eye of Belial is an amazing starting item. I, I haven't even commented on that fact, right? Like, that was, like, one of the driving factors why I stopped holding R to begin with. But that combined with uh, the damage from Terra and then also Almond Milk's tier rate and shit is, is just good. An unidentified pill. Please be good. Health down! Oh my god, I got a key. Holy crap. <laughs> Holy shit. All right, I'll take Tomato out of the item room because I may as well. Uh, and I'm still not gonna have any damn keys after this, which is so funny. <laughs> I'm still gonna go down to the damn next one without keys. I also have like no HP. Oh no, it's not Gideon. It's the other boss that's just gonna get shredded by me having Terra. That's hilarious. I can't believe I got to fight both of these guys. Oh, they're screwed. Yeah, that was in the gambling machine last floor. I didn't. Continue gambling, obviously. Man, I would love to go down the all pop like this, but I don't think I have the HP to warrant it, man. I don't think I can do it. I don't think I can do it, man. I'm gonna die if I do. Yeah, we're just... Okay, we're just moving on. What a weird run it is, man. The run where, like, keys just don't show up at all. Yeah, eat each other. Eat each other. Yes! Another key. Okay. Now the game's giving me, like, all the keys that it has been robbing me of this far. No diplopia still. You're giving me a more options when I don't need it at all. I am upset. I am upset. At least there have been no greed shops, right? That's something, I guess. There's That's something, I guess? I guess at this point, my only other option is to try and, well, rush for Hush, but I don't know if I want to do that either, man. Then again, I guess this floor is done, so let's see if I can do it. Maybe the Hush shop can have the Plopia in it. I think, ironically, this run has the ability to kill Hush pretty easily. Thanks to the homing and the amount of tears I'm pooping out. So I'm not too worried about it. I just need to, like, speed up a little bit. Uh, no angel deal. That's surprising. Let's go up today, because I don't have a lot of HP. Speaking of, I don't have a lot of HP, so I'm probably not going to go for anything in here. Yeah, that's not even worth my time to look at it. Uh, down we go. I'm, I'm on a timer. I'm on a timer. I need to go fast. Don't get me wrong, those items in there are good, but I can't take them because I don't have a lot of HP. Plus, I want to still get my second key piece, which I have yet to get. Six minutes. Six minutes to clear two floors? It's possible. As long as I can navigate the womb correctly, which this isn't. You know what? Take me out. Like, run into a dead end. Use the, use the hourglass to get out of it. Save yourself some time. Can you guys... I can just shoot my way through the doors! I forgot about that part. That's gonna speed it up even more if I just do that. I gotta go. I gotta, I gotta blast. I gotta scoot out of here. I'm gonna need you to, like, stop doing this attack and just die, please. I can't believe you predicted my movement. That is crazy of you. Why would you do that? I got an angel deal. That's huge. What's inside? Uh, I'll take Blood of the Martyr, sure. I do want Mega Satan, though, so give me the key piece as quickly as possible, please. Thank you. Please. Die qu Die quicker. Die quicker. I, got, I gotta get to Hush here, man. I gotta do it. Will I be able to beat him? I don't know, man. This... I'm still not looking good on HP and all that, but... I gotta try. Ah, uh, fuck you guys. I don't want to fight you. Oh, it's a boss. Let's go. There's actually a chance. We can do it. It can be done. It can be done. Oh, we've got plenty of time. Okay, I can, I can, I can take a little bit of extra time to maybe look for a secret room. Just, uh, just a little bit though. Mm, okay, it's not an easily accessible place. As fuck it. We're going hush. <laughs> I'm banking on the Plopia showing up in that hush shop. I, I just gotta believe hard enough, and it will happen. Sometimes if you believe hard enough in something, it will happen. That's how it works. Damage shield potential, it's there. It's not amazing, but it's there. Might as well check this. Oh, I need backstabber though. That's gonna do so much. I hate trading my HP away for it. My precious, precious HP, but I gotta. Okay, how many keys do I have? Do I, can I open all these chests? No, okay, let's prioritize this first and foremost. Damn it, it's not here. Ah, darn. Okay, what's in here? 
Tech zero is pretty good. I guess I'll take a little brim. Let's look for crawl space. You know there's gonna be a crawl space. There almost always is in the, the hush floor. I don't know, man. I, I guess I'll get stopwatch and donate the rest of my money. Could have bought another key to like open more of these chests, but I'll just open two of them and live with the consequences. Okay, a damage up is neat. Bit of HP is also very neat. Okay, I got glowing hourglass in case of emergency. I hope I won't need it. I hope that this run can just shred. It certainly is doing that to an extent right now. It's shredding a bit. And once we get to the big guy, Backstabber is probably going to start procking like crazy, I hope. Otherwise, uh, I'm in for a long fight. Yeah, this is going to take a bit longer, but it still is doing a lot of damage. I got to just concentrate on myself and dodge. That's what I got to do. I got to clutch up and dodge. I think I can do that. I think I can pull that off. Come on, Backstabber. Start pulling your weight. I am going to need you to. He's constantly red, which is a good sign, I think. Cuba meat, by the way. Also being kind of helpful, just blocking some bullets and stuff. I mean, I'm not gonna jinx myself just yet, but so far so good, right? I think Tech Zero was a big pickup here as well with how many tiers I'm shooting. I think Tech Zero is gonna do a lot for me. Oh shit, he changed directions. Okay, I'm good, I'm good. Well, we're doing good so far. Bro, I'm gonna clutch this up, man. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Still didn't get the diplopia that I was owed, but at least we got something. No, no brims, no brims. No angel brims, please. I can't believe it. Piercing with Backstabber is so fucking broken, dude. Okay, yeah, there was no avoiding all those tears, though. I gotta dodge for the brims here. He's dead. Let's go, dude. Only got hit one time. I'm on fire today. Damn. I have another key, by the way. I didn't even notice. Oh, cool. I got another one back. Cool. I'm gonna need more keys for the, for the chest, but one thing at a time, right? With how few items I've gotten this run, this run is friggin' powerful, man. All things considered. You know what a blessing it is to be a bilingual person, not just because of the ability to have, well, no two languages, which is obviously nice, but the fact that my parents don't know one of the languages. My parents don't know any English at all, really. So the, the fun part about, like, you know, being fluent in English is that most of my stuff I do online and the stuff I talk about is in English. So I can just say whatever the hell I want. I can scream whatever the hell I want throughout the day in, in my room and whatnot. They don't know what the hell I'm talking about. I could be talking about the vilest shit known to man with uh, my friends or by myself or whatever. They wouldn't know. They would not be non the wiser, which I think is very funny. That I, I, I dread for the day that both of them are retired. For now, it's only my dad. But the day that both of them are retired, and they have said that they were planning on taking English classes, like, seriously, and just, like, actually learning the language. As well as you can when you're 60 plus, right? Hierophant is huge news. So I dread the day that they will actually be able to speak English and converse English uh, in, in some ways. But at least until then, I, I still get to live on my high of them not knowing what the hell I'm saying whenever I say anything. And I guess, uh... The, the plus side is that whenever we do travel together and they actually know English, I won't have to... I won't have to be their translator anymore, right? That was always... That's always been annoying whenever we would travel abroad. I mean, I haven't done that much lately, obviously, but even before, we would only really do it to visit my brother who lives in Japan. Yeah, there's, there's your deep Cerny lore for the day. I have a brother, an older brother, who lives in the country of Japan. He's lived there for like a decade now. He just moved there and he lives there and he works there. There you go, there's your lore. <laughs> Black Lotus is actually one of the better secret items to get here, I think. My HP is now looking nice and insulated. I am feeling a lot more confident. This this floor alone has just turned the run around a lot, huh? Just a couple of HP ups, boom, we're looking good. But yeah, like I won't have to be the translator anymore, which I guess is an upside in some ways. Not being able to trash talk anymore without them questioning what I'm saying is... Uh, that's a downside for sure. Oh, cool. Speaking of down, uh, health down, huh? God, this run is shredding, bro. I don't need no quality 4 items. This run is shredding just without them, just fine. For some reason, uh, every run that goes well for me where I don't get quality 4s, I just end up having Eye of Belial. I, I think Eye of Belial is way too powerful. I think that shit could be a quality 4 item. I feel like you could totally get away with making a quality 4 and it wouldn't be disappointing. Like, I would never be disappointed to see it. Oh, you're... you're getting owned, kiddo! Wouldn't it be funny if the Plopia showed up in one of these chests somehow? I don't know how it would do that, but wouldn't it be funny? Oh, purity, hell yeah. I, I'll take fire mine. You know what? I'm feeling wacky today. Can't wait for this to blow up in my face, but... But yeah, it is a it is a, a funny thing to think about that b being bilingual, like quite literally certified bilingual. I, I got a fucking like when I when I graduated, I got a damn certificate that I'm bilingual, that I am fluent in both my native language and also English. But like what it's led to is that I think at this point, I'm actually better at speaking English than I am at speaking German. Like I, I speak so much more English than I do German nowadays, just because the only people I really talk German to are my parents. 
And then occasionally when I meet with IRL friends, I guess. Like most most of the time I talk English with people when I'm just online because I spend so much time on my PC and whatnot. That I, I've i gotten worse at speaking my native language. To the point where sometimes when I try to like carry a conversation in German, I can't remember the German word for certain things. I can only remember the English word. And then I'm like struggling, just standing there struggling, trying to, trying to remember what the damn German word was or the German equivalent for something. It's a, it's a damn nightmare. Honestly, I think a lot of bilingual people can probably somewhat mirror this um, sentiment or this experience where they're like, yeah, I've kind of gotten like even if you know multiple languages, obviously some of them you use more and then obviously some of them you just get worse at because you don't use them, even if they're your native language, which is very funny, but also very sad in, in some ways. Anyway, Blue Baby got absolutely shredded. <laughs> The void. Let me at least do the floor first and maybe Mega Satan too. I I'd rather do Mega Satan than Delirium today, to be honest. Hey, an actual item. Hey, Kane's other eye. That's crazy. Because he fires at my tier rate, right? Yeah, okay. And the tiers are going to be like homing pseudo and like they're going to have the, the lasers between them and shit. I don't think I've ever been in the double digits of keys on this entire run, by the way. I think the most keys I've ever held at the time was like five. That's uh. That's a damn indictment, honestly. Anyway, Mega Satan time. Plus, I got the stopwatch slowdown for this room. That is absolutely amazing. Man, uh, baby plum, do your work. Why don't you? I believe you can be helpful. Thank you, baby plum. I'm gonna use wild card later to get you back again. Okay, on the second phase. She gets to, she gets to help for both phases. I can barely see where I am on the screen. There's so much shit going on, and more importantly, I'm so small. Look at him just like melting. Anything that enters my vicinity just melts like that. That's crazy. It's not one-shot stuff, but like I feel like this is actually more satisfying. I feel like the, the melting of like the health bar just going down like that is way more satisfying than just like a chunky like one-shot build or something like that. They both have their ups and downs. They both have their, you know, their satisfying elements and stuff. But I think this one is just, it's more satisfying. Anyway, uh, baby plum, come back. I need you again. Help me out with this Mega Satan guy, will you? Thank you for tanking all those bullets for me. That's nice of you. The, the slowdown for this room is actually like so nasty. I'm so glad that Broken Stopwatch came in clutch for that as well. Made this fight even easier. Hey, he's dead. There you go. A bit tight towards the end, but it was an easy fight at the end of the day. This was a very interesting run. I am not gonna do the void though. I'm sorry. I, I don't think this run will live that long. It's been fine, it's been dandy. I didn't get to do the thing I wanted to do, unfortunately, but that's just how the cookie crumbles sometimes. Oh well.